Well, I'm back making videos, making mods. I mean, I've been making mods the whole time, but now I'm making videos giving you the mods. So isn't that cool? So if you want to know what's up with the hat and the jetpack, um, skip to this, the, the, this, there's a time over here somewhere, right? If I remember to do that, right? But now you're here for keystrokes probably, so let's get into keystrokes. So we have keystrokes version 8 by Skier LLC here. Now, what is this? Similar to all the other ones, but it's even better. Who could have thought we could have done that? I didn't think it was possible, but we figured out ways. So we've added ping and we've made some uh, back end changes. So it's a little little nicer on the code side. But yeah, so here it is. Uh, turn ping on and off. Uh, and then you have the standard settings. If this is the first video you found about my keystrokes, I'm going to run through everything. If you want to learn about the hat and everything, uh, go to the timestamp. But here we go. So we have uh, show mouse buttons. This like shows your mouse buttons. So when I left click, it goes. Right click, it goes. Yep. That's kind of it. Uh, show space bar, yep, things. When I press space, that goes. Uh, chroma, if you want it to just be static uh, or not. And if you, you can edit the RGB pressed and non-pressed colors, right? Boom, done. Uh, but I, I think the chroma is cool because I've done a I've done a GL filter to make this all chroma. Isn't that cool? It just kind of cascades down. Uh, we can show sneak or not. Sneak is just, you know, whether you're sneaking. So I'll press my sneak key here, just shift. Boom, boom, FPS. Uh, FPS is cool. It shows, shows how many FPSs I'm getting. It's a lot of FPSs. Lots of frames per second. Uh, key background. Turn that off. It kind of just makes them, makes them chill like that. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, I want to turn my key background back on. And then now, um, let's see. Change the scale. Oh, got to move this back over here now. Uh, there we go. Kind of a spaz, so it's kind of hard. But uh, yeah, fade time. So if I go like this they'll like more quickly go back to uh, their standard color if I make it fat, or they'll go slowly and make it fast like this, boop, they like instantly turn back, keep it somewhere in the middle, it has like a still uh, fade out, isn't that kind of satisfying, uh, well, I'll put this right in the middle, show WASD, wanted to turn that off, uh, key occupancy, so that's how dark this is, set it to zero to effectively turn off key background, but this is just a slider to control, so this is complete black, complete nothing, and somewhere in the middle, around 110 is where I like it, boom, done. Besides that, we have uh, custom keys here, which is unique to our version of Keystrokes. It isn't found in any others that I'm aware of, uh, where you can add your custom keys like this. Boop, 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 asterisk gear. And if you type click me, click me. There we go. Yes. Kind of, S is also my back key, so that also lights up. But you know, you can add a key like this, put it anywhere. We'll put it right here. And we're going to change the key to be slash. And we're going to change the type. Uh, we change it to anything we want. Boop, boop. And we'll put it right here. So now we have S slash like that and if we don't want it we just click it and click delete and we hit escape to get back and now we have uh, uh what are we uh we're at literal keys so literal keys is like if you put an apostrophe do you want it to show up as the apostrophe sign or like say apostrophe right that's that's kind of what that uh setting controls and we have our arrow keys so if you want it to be wasd or if you want it to be the arrow keys personally i do prefer the arrow keys just because they uh i think they look better especially with their chroma because it kind of flows across it like that and you can show your ping my uh my ping's pretty good to hide it so now on to the uh, mod core thing. So that's what that's what this hat is. It's part of mod core. It's a new framework that will run in all of our mods and all of our partners mods. Uh, so there will be a very large network of people using it after a very short amount of time. And so if you buy a cosmetic in one of them, you have tons of people that'll be able to see it. We have an online indicator and tab that shows um, if it's green, you're on mod core or the other person's on mod core. And if it's yellow, that means the other person's on a skier mod that's not yet mod core. You should yell at them to update to mod core because mod core is epic. Now, if you want to learn more about ModCore, there'll be a link right up there to the release video for it. But basically, we have an in-game cosmetic viewer here. Uh, so yeah, some clown thought it'd be really, really funny if they got me a Mindplex Optifine cape. So I kind of have that now. But we have cool things like custom gift capes here. Uh, this is mine. Uh, I kind of messed it up, and there's a little bit of black at the end. But, you know, pretend that didn't exist. That would perk. That would loop very well. Uh, and then we have a Nitro cape. So if you join my Discord... Oh, whoops, turned it off. Now I have to turn it back on. It'll show. Uh, but yeah, see, Nitro Cape, if you're boosting my Discord, uh, you just go into it, type of commands, and it'll instantly give it to you. And then we have our jetpack, which I love. See this guy here? Look at that. That's a jetpack in Minecraft. Doesn't, doesn't make you fly yet, but it might in the future. Um, so that's everything you need to know. Version 8 for Keystrokes. Stay tuned, because we have a complete rewrite of Keystrokes scheduled called Keystrokes X. Kind of like iPhones, right? They went from 8 to, to the X, to 10, right? So Keystrokes 10, we're skipping 9. And it's going to be so epic. We have some insane stuff planned, but it could be still be a few weeks away. So uh, download this one in the meantime and stay hyped for that and all of the other mods. We should have like, we should have two to three mods coming out every week, basically forever now, because uh, we have some pretty good systems down. We've redone our entire workflow. That's it. Have a great day. Bye.